Hey guys, and happy Friday. So I just wanted to quickly hop on and share with something with you that is way overdue. Um, it is a friend mailbox from Steph Loves Life, and she was gracious enough. We did a sort of a wax swap on a certain particular blend. Um, if I remember correctly, I think I ordered her some pistachio something from a Rose Girls haul, and then she ordered me something from Sassy Girl because I was like, I'm not just going to go in for one and vice versa. So uh, she was nice enough to do that and then send me some other goodies and you just got to bear with me. I'm still feeling really under the weather, but I wanted to make this video and say thank you to her for being so thoughtful and kind and also to thank, thank you to, um, this amazing community. Uh, thank you to April for um, sending this shirt and stuff. This community is just so great. Everyone is just a great bunch of women and we all lean on one another. And for 2024, I just am so thankful going into it to have had and made all these great friendships. So I'll quit rambling. I'm already a minute in and let's dive in. So, um, the original intent of the box was for this blend, and this is Sassy Girl Aroma. It broke. It's Sassy Girl Aroma. It's cookies under the Christmas tree, and this is pine sugar cookies and vanilla bean, and I've been really kind of getting or trying to, other than cook, uh, Christmas trees and cream. There's a few blends out there that I feel like are similar. And so I just wanted to see if Sassy Girl had one too. And I haven't, I don't even think I won this yet. Um, no, it just broke. And you definitely get the pine. I don't really get much cookie in this blend. Um, it's just straight up pine. So I'm curious to see if the cookie, once it comes out, you know, I'm warm. Um, but I was eager to try it. So thank you so much again, Steph, for ordering it. So that's cookies under the Christmas tree. And then there's some backstory. Um, and I smelled this right when I got it, but it's been a while. There's some backstory about these friends bars. So um, I typically don't like coffee blends. And so when I did my review and my thoughts on it, I actually kind of found it funny that I was like, I actually kind of like it. And so everyone was like, we'll send you our friends bars. And so really, truly, I get a lot of warm, just coconut and cream. Like what are the scent notes? Double espresso, fresh coffee and coconut cream. All I get is coconut cream. And honestly, I like it because there's not much coffee in it. Um, yeah, there's like no coffee. I don't, I don't, there's not a ounce of espresso. Um, but I actually don't mind it. I mean, it's very, very light. Um, and so I usually just was warming it in my basement. So I think, oh yeah, she sent me four bars. So four bars of friends. And I think Martha also sent me hers and maybe someone else did. I can't remember. So thank you for sending me your friend bars. I'm curious. There is a, I think I might do that. Maybe I'll do that. There's a coffee blend that I got from Rose Girls. I don't know if it's Luke Steiner. Yeah, there's no coffee in this. Um, I think it's Luke Steiner. Um, and I'm curious if I mix that with this. If the coconut, so four bars, thank you. Um, if we'll kind of make it actually smell like coffee. So, anywho. Um, I'm going to try not to spill my drink because it's right over here. Hold on. It doesn't do that. All right. And then she sent me a new to me vendor that I've never tried. And I can't even read. I don't even think. I can't even read who the vendor is. It's like very hard to see with the logo. Um, I thought I saw it somewhere. Um, but super cute packaging. This is cinnamon buttercream cookies, cinnamon oatmeal cookies, buttercream frosting, cookies, and cupcakes. And my daughter play with these. So they're little macarons. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? And literally it's just this, cre 
<coughs> sorry guys, creamy buttercream. Very, very light on the oatmeal, which is good because sometimes I really don't like a heavy spice. So um, eager to try these. I think one of them broke. I think this is the one that broke. But really cute packaging, like totally a sucker, like super cute. So I'm eager to try those. Um, put it in the right way so you can see. Super cute packaging. I'm a sucker for packaging, and there's several of them. Here's another one that's Color Me Autumn, Chocolate Oud, Caramelized Sugar, Pumpkin Cupcake, and Bear Claws. And it's a little ghost. Yeah, and I can't read the label. I wish I knew. And this one is just you get chocolate. You get a hint of a creamy coconut. It almost kind of smells like cupcakes at Tiffany's. Do I say coconut? I meant cupcake. You kind of get more of a cupcake at Tiffany's. So, I mean, I just get chocolate and cupcake and ooey gooey goodness. So that is that one. And I wish I, again, I wish I knew what the vendor was. There's another bag here. This is Autumn Bakery, and this is a banana cream pie, pumpkin pecan waffles, and Palo Santo. And I'm just starting to kind of get into pumpkin pecan waffles. I never really was a fan of it. Um, this is a really cute bunch. I'm going to take it out. Ooh, that's good. So you get a little light banana. It's really cute you do not get a strong banana because I really don't like banana in wax because I feel like you get like this artificial note, but this is really good. You get a creamy banana. You get a very light pumpkin pecan waffles and very, very, very light Palo Santo. So that one, I might actually have to chop that up. Try that one out. That one smells good. All right. Oh, it's Saxy Wax Melts. That's who's the vendor. So here's some samples, I guess. This is Brutastic Pumpkin Pecan Brittle, Zucchini Bread, Brazilian Coffee, and a hint of black coffee. So this is the coffee that needs to be in the Friends Bars. I do not get any pumpkin waffles. I just get coffee and zucchini bread. So really cute shapes. This is, like I said, sassy, sassy wax melts. So I guess that's what all of these are. All right, I think that's it for that vendor before I switch over. Yeah. All right, and then she sent me a bag. I think she sent me a bag of Autumn Mountain. Because um, I'm like, wait a minute, it looks like my handwriting. Um, and I love this blend. This is like my favorite blend for, unless my kids just threw it in the bag, but, um, I'm a sucker for Cider Lane, Rose Girl Cider Lane. She is amazing. You get a very light pecan waffles. It's really just Cider Lane. So you really have to like Cider Lane. So yeah, it looks like my handwriting. Um, so hopefully my kids just didn't throw it back in the box because it's was sitting on the floor. But anywho, if it's not, I love watermelon. All right, and then from Yummer's Delight, this is Pumpkin Roll. Sorry, guys, it's loud. And I don't know what the scent notes are. This is just a very cinnamon pumpkin. It almost kind of smells like uh, pumpkin cinnamon roll from Scentsy. So that's exciting to have. I really like pumpkin cinnamon roll. So thank you for sending me that. And then here is a fishy green ale. I think that's what it says. From Vintage Chic. And this is melon ginger ale and sweet grape boba. Bo, boba something. I can't see the light. Yes. And this is just a ginger ale fizzy pop. Like almost, almost kind of like a, a um, Canada Dry or what's the other vendor that sells ginger ale? It's ginger ale very sweet um sparkling okay and then another yummers this is almost famous i think i have this one i think this is pumpkin pecan waffles and something else 
maybe cookie i don't know yeah i think it's pumpkin pj mouth sorry guys all my nails are falling off that's what happens when you have kids and you have your hands in water all the time and i'm bleeding and keep lotioning my hands up between being sick and everything else so i'm glad to have another one of these because i do really like this blend so thanks for sending me that and then i have a sample from Heart Wax. It's a lime margarita. And if anybody knows, I'm like really enjoying lime. And I really like the, my blend was coconut lime with the crumb top. And this is more of a tart kind of herbal lime. So eager to try that one. And I think that's it for those. All right. And then switching to L3 Waxy Wonders. This is Pecan Pie, Cupcakes at Tiffany's, and Eggnog. And her cupcakes at Tiffany's, I like. It leans more chocolate, though. What am I smelling instead? No, I'm really just getting eggnog. Is it cupcakes at Tiffany's that I like of all three on its own? No, that's Harper James. Harper James, you get like a more creamy vanilla fudge type smell. This one, I'm just getting pecan by an eggnog which I'm like loving eggnog right now. I'm hoping I don't get sick of eggnog because I have a lot of eggnog points. And this one is cotton candy craze, waffle cone, and lemon curd. I love lemon bakery. It's so good. And her lemon curd with anything is pretty good when it comes to warming if you want to knock anything that you're cooking out that's smelly. So... Yeah, this is a good blend. I like this one for spring and summer, so eager to have that one. All right, and then there's two other samples left, and then I'll go switch back to Scentsy. This is Lovely Wax Melt. This is Blue Lava. Cute little heart. You can see it. Two-tone heart. I'll take that out of the bag. It smells like an orange kind of a little bit. I don't know what the scent. Yeah, it smells like an orange. It says blue lava, but that can mean anything. <laughs> it's kind of light. All right, and then Luck of the Irish. This is like Irish cream liqueur or something. I think I have a whole brittle in this from um, Sassy Girl Aroma. Yeah, it's pretty heavy on the liqueur, like Irish liqueur, I think is what it is. It won't pop out, but yes, I do have a whole brittle of this, so I'm lucky to have and thankful to have a sample, so thanks for sending that. Okay, and then let's get into some bars, the rest of the bars from Scentsy. This is Pink Sugarberry Mint, and this was a scent of the month. Um, I think it's mint bakery. It's more leaning, like, minty berry. Like, I don't really get much mint on warm. Um, I think this was the March scent of the month, either last year or the year before that. Um, and it's very sweet on warm. Uh, you really have to like sweet things. I don't remember if I like this or not. I'll have to warm it. I think whatever I had, I don't have any more of. A lot of it, what happens is, so being Sensi Consultants, you uh, get early access to things. And what I typically do with the scent of the month bars is if my customers have ordered from me within the third, like 30 to 60 day mark, typically I'll send a bar to them. And that's how I um, kind of thank them and give them wax. And so I don't have to have all eight or nine bars. I think we're getting eight now uh, of a wax scent and I'll just keep one or two for myself but that way I get to kind of I wouldn't even say get rid of the bars but not have to have eight bars of the same scent so I'm pretty sure I don't have any more of this one this one actually has changed I feel like this one smells more perfumey so eager to have that one and try it so thanks for sending that and then I know I don't have any of this and I don't even know if this did this come back in the catalog I'm like drawing a blank this is dancing sugar plums this one's really nice. It's spice, light on spice. You get a plum note, a sweet plum, 
I wish they brought it back with a body care this year, but it's really good. There we go. Spice plums, vanilla, sweet cinnamon, apple. It is really good. So I'm glad to have a bar of this because I don't think I have any of this. So I might even want to. I'm going to put that one over there. I might even want to do that. And then I love this one. This is pink coconut. This was the scent of the month, I think, for February last year. And I think it says, I didn't club it. So thanks for, I have only one bar left. I didn't club it and I regretted it, but I think this has clay in it, but I don't know this one. Everyone said it was very light, but to me, I don't, it's not light. I don't get clay. Like I think it's like clay, Tahitian clay um, and coconut. It's really good. It's a perfumey coconut and it's a nice bedroom bathroom scent. So I really enjoy it. So thanks for sending it and I'm glad to have it. So Thank you again um, to Steph for sending this. Uh, and I really appreciate this act of kindness. Again, this community is just so thoughtful, so gracious and kind that I, I really appreciate it. So I just wanted to say thank you and share with you my little box of goodies. So hope you guys have a great start to your new year, 2024. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Talk to you all soon.